Today's tech quick tip deals with the use of Facebook and the topic today how to tag friends in photos. Hello, I'm Chet Davis and I'm your technology tutor. So you can see I'm on my Facebook profile and I want to show you how to tag your friends. Now, if you have um, you know, friends in one of your photographs, it's polite to identify them. It's nice to identify them and it increases the social interaction in Facebook. And as I've said in other tutorials, that's one of the reasons why we use Facebook is to have an increased engagement with our friends and family members. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a photo. So I'm going to skip this process right now uh, of pulling up a photo and going through that and just get to the tagging part. So I'll be right back with a photo. So I've loaded a photo using the browse, uh, brought it up from my hard drive. And this is a uh, photo from uh, Crater Lake, uh, Oregon, a vacation we had a couple years ago. Beautiful shot of Crater Lake, Oregon. And we go ahead and we have the ability to, again, identify who's going to see this. And I can identify the people that are in this photo. But if I want to tag them, identify them by face, what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and click on post. And it will present me with the photograph. So depending on the size of your photo, it will take a, a moment to, you know, a little bit longer. And we click on the photo to see it full frame. Then we have the ability to tag photos. See, um, when I when I hover over a person's uh, a face on here, it gives me the opportunity to tag a photo. Now this opens up automatically as soon as you add a new photo. And as I start typing the person's name, hey, that's me. You can see I have a list of people that begin with that name. So I can scroll down using my trackball, or I can use the arrows on the keyboard. But again, that first one is me. So I I, I click to identify Chet Davis. And now it's it's indicated. Now, when anybody looks at this photo on Facebook and they hover over a face, you can see that identifies that person by name. Now, that person has to have a Facebook account, has to have a Facebook profile, and they have to be one of your friends. You can't tag anybody randomly. Okay, so that's how you tag a photo. And if you wanted to do it after the fact, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go back to an album. So I go ahead and open up a photo here and uh, open up a, a previous album because what I want to do is show you how you can tag a photo. So we open up a photograph and this is what it says. You see, see with David Michaleski. So as I hover over this person's name, it shows me where they are in the photograph. Okay. And we have some random shots. And here we are again. See how it identifies the person. Now, they'll also be presented with a notification in their uh, account that they have been identified. So here we have the ability to identify. Uh, this is my brother-in-law, and uh, he, he's not identified in this photo. So here's how to do it after the fact. This photo's been online for some time, and it's you're only presented with that tag photo option uh, as soon as you upload a photo. But to do it retroactively in the future, what you do is you come over here and click on tag photo, and then as I uh, move over a person's face, see that now we have the opportunity. So I start there. We go. So identify the person. And now that we have identified that individual, we click Done Tagging. And we have completed the opportunity to tag that photo. Now what this looks like in your account is you'll see under Notifications. So I open up my Notifications page and I scroll down. And I know just earlier this week, um, see, I was tagged three photos of you. So I click to open that up. And I'll see um, that I have been tagged. There's a photo there of me delivering a workshop. Okay. And there's me enjoying lunch at the workshop and you know there I am again working with this small group in uh, Missouri so great workshop so that's how you tag photos of your friends and family members on Facebook thanks for joining me today if you have follow-up questions if you have suggestions for other tutorials please visit my website and let me know you'll find me at yourtechnologytutor.com